Hi, welcome to Simply Chalk Design. My name is Mai Bella, your independent chalk couture designer. As I'm getting everything ready for a chalking project, here are some things you can help me with. As soon as you come in, please share. Win some awesome merch just by sharing, liking, following, subscribing, and commenting. After you share, comment hashtag confetti. Also, comment with where you are watching from. Also, please like and follow if you are watching from Facebook. If you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my talking videos. If you're watching live, please comment hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay. If you are new to my page or my channel, please comment hashtag pickle. I would love to welcome you to Talk a Tour. I would also love to be your designer. If you are already a designer, welcome. Please slam on the hearts and I thank you for watching. Chalk Tour is a fun, high-end home decor company specializing in reusable silk screen transfers and creamy, dreamy chalkology paste and ink. With so many designs to choose from to create your own fabulous designs. Please sign up for the awesome monthly Club Couture subscription. For only $19.99 per month with a three-month commitment, you will receive an exclusive 8.5 by 11 reusable silkscreen transfer with three Tacology paste packets. It is so much fun to get it delivered to you each month. Monthly reusable silkscreen transfer is an exclusive Club Couture and for designers only. If on the fifth of every month you will be billed for the club and then your mystery silk screen transfer will be prepared and shipped to you. You can join the club or shop at my website www.simplychalkdesign.com. Also, you can join my Chalk Boss team and become a designer. You can make extra money each month, get awesome discounts, earn incentives, and trips. Start your own business in a box and make extra money each month. All you have to do is join my team. For only $99 in the U.S. and $135 in Canada, you will receive everything you need to start your own creative empire and chalk design business. The designer kit is valued at over $240 in the U.S., and over $350 in Canada. Your kit will consist of Chalk Couture catalog, your Chalk Couture apron, seven reusable silkscreen transfers, five of our creamy, dreamy Chalkology paste jars, one Gallery Aiden porcelain frame, nine by 12, one boutique board and base, five by seven, one package of 12 chalkable chips, a package of thank you cards, and your Chalk Tour Read Me info. If you would like more information, please message me or comment down below. I would love to have you on my team. Now, let's get chalking. How's everyone doing? I think I'm going to get it working. If it's not YouTube, it's the platform that I'm using. How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. You guys, you know what you need to do? Please share. So we can get this going. We almost made the 20 shares Sunday night. So if we hit 20, one of you people that share is going to win a chalk paste color of your choice. There's also bumble, bubble gum, uh, lilac, and navy that y'all get to choose from when we hit 20 shares, okay? How's everyone doing? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? So we're going to do those carrots tonight. Hi, Sarah. Welcome, welcome. You're still a new pickle. I know, I know. Welcome, welcome. I um, hope y'all had a great weekend. It's Tuesday. We're almost, it's baby hump day. Um, and I hope all of my Club Couture designers, not designers, the members of the Club Couture, I hope y'all are getting your transfers in. 
there's been a lot of weather delays and all kinds of stuff like that but i know more have them than not so hopefully check your mailboxes hopefully they'll coming in soon okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to do farmhouse guys farmhouse chickens i'm still waiting for my order from february 2nd it's tracking it has stopped tracking um i don't know where it's at guys i don't know where it's at it says it's on its way but i have no idea so anyway we're going to do the farmhouse oh what is this actually called let me give you the correct name corner market collection the chickens Are they pretty Um, you guys, and Facebook is not showing me everybody who's commenting. So whoever commented, good to see you. I don't know where you're at. And somebody commented, Minnesota. Awesome. You guys, we're cold down here. I don't know how y'all do it. Bless your hearts. We're freezing. We're all thawed out now. Now we're just hunting for food. There's no food nowhere. But you would have thought I would have lost some weight. Nope did not anyway we're gonna work on this and we're gonna put it on one of these gorgeous uh distressed trays that i have so welcome welcome you guys at the end of the month i also give out um participation um transfers and squeegees and little gifts and trinkets and things like that so don't forget to tell me where you're from. Don't forget to participate. Don't forget to share. Thumbs up, hearts. All of that is participation, you guys. And that helps me with the algorithm with Facebook. You know how that is. Also on YouTube, wherever is on YouTube, don't forget to comment. Message me if you have any questions because those comments take a little bit longer to come in. So, let's label this, and let's get ready to fuzz this on our fuzzing cloth. You know, I like to clip the corner, label the back, so that you don't forget that when you put this back on after you've used it, you put it shiny side to sticky side. And when I fuzz a large transfer like this guys i like to put it down i like to put it down first hold on let me try and pick up a corner and if i don't see your comment i am sorry facebook is funny that way bear with me be patient maybe comment with an emoji or something like that so i can see it So I pick up half of it, you guys, and then I put it on my fuzzing cloth. Fuzz it a few times. This one is extra sticky, which is awesome. I think the stickier it is, the more uses you get out of your transfer. Chonkator transfers are reusable eight plus times, you guys, depending on how you take care of your transfers. They are not stencils, they're transfers. It's a silk screen. See, you can see through that. A stencil is something you can put your finger through. So now that I've fuzzed it, I'm going to take off the rest and put it on my towel here. If you do get stuck to yourself, that you get both sides that are sticky, try and pull it apart very gently. Gently, you guys. Or run to your sink and run tap water on it and then start pulling it apart. And hopefully you don't ruin your transfer. Now these... The chicken and the rooster are gorgeous. I think it's a chicken and a rooster. Let me see. 
very look welcome welcome you guys facebook isn't showing me comments so try and do an emoji okay tell me you're here watching do hashtag confetti after you share i don't think there's a right and wrong way to do this and you will be entered if we get 20 shares tonight you will win chalk paste tonight if not you will still be entered at the end of the month for something something i'm gonna have to cut off their legs hold on this is going on a serving tray so i will have to seal it and it doesn't fit but i'm not going to cut it so then we start burnishing it down to make sure we don't have any get snow bubble is trouble only bubble and what you guys champagne sparkling wine your bathtub <laughs> so i hope y'all have taken the summer catalog Today was the third release. Um, let me see if I can. I'll leave that up for a little bit. If y'all want to order, there's my website. Don't forget to do confetti. Hashtag confetti after you share. Okay, you guys. Now, question. Hello, Miss Virginia. How are you? My eyes crying. Did you get your club couture, Virginia? Okay, you guys. So now, what do we use? Do we use gray, white? Or, let me see, iced coffee. Those are our choices. What do y'all think? Remember, stick around. We're going to make carrots. I'm going to show you how I make my carrots. Uh, we're going to make carrots at the end of our chalking series tonight. You got it yesterday. Awesome. Look, we did it Sunday. I don't know if you watched the replay, but this is my version of it. It's really nice. It's really cool. I think it's going to look nice also on a t-shirt. So that's what we have, you guys. Fresh linen, grayish, iced coffee, or white. I forgot to pull a white out. Where's my white? What do y'all think? Miss Sarah Powell, are you still here? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love the replays because people can always watch at their convenience, right? Sundays are tough. I know. Okay. Fresh linen. I haven't used fresh linen in a long time. So, yep, we'll use fresh linen. For those of you that sign up for the Club Couture in February, in March, you should have gotten your catalog as well. You get a free catalog. Um, in March, anything you order is going to have 15% off. So take advantage of that, you guys. So let's check our paste. It's a little on the thick side. And remember, you guys, take care of your paste. Some love. Together. 
a week, at least once a month. Pictures. It's going to be real easy, you guys, and then we're going to make our carrots. Um, for you guys that are on March 5th, is a Friday at the store and my auntie have a workshop. Um, one of my team members and myself there at the store, six o'clock on Friday, we're going to have a chalk and sip. So if you want to come, send me a message just to make sure we have enough surfaces and everything. So are y'all ready to chalk? This is going to be fast, you guys. So we're using fresh linen. It's one of the retired colors. And there's new amazing colors. And remember, all the new paste being released is the new formula of our amazing creamy, dreamy Chocology paste. You guys, you're going to love it. The only thing is you have to dry in between because now it does not dry fast. So put your paste everywhere you have your design. We're just going to do simple embellishments on our chickens today, tonight. So be generous with your paste. Any way you're going to Remove all the excess and put it back in your jar, you guys. When you're working with a big transfer, you can do it in parts. Or you can leave it thick. Because like right now, I have two ceiling fans going. And the air condition. So if you leave it a little bit thick, it won't dry as fast. The old formula, you have to work quickly because it'll dry in your in your silk screen and then you won't get a nice crisp crisp um, design so anyway pick up from top to bottom or side to side straight up to the sky gently look at that you guys oh my goodness I do have a shallow tub of water here next to me. Don't leave your transfers too long in the tub of water. Try and wash them as soon as you can. But look, you guys, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. I will post... Um, my website down you guys um after the broadcast so if y'all want to order anything it's www.simplychalkdesign.com i'll post it afterwards because now what facebook is doing is that it's putting it as like an advertisement or something it's it's not showing like it normally does isn't that pretty so I'm going to let it dry and then we're going to embellish in a little bit. Now we're going to chalk this little cute little box with one of our retire transfers. And I wanted to use a chicken wire and one of our farm animals over here. Because I'm waiting for my new little farm animals. But, you know, they're somewhere. So, on this one, I want to do the chicken wire. And then I want to add either the cow. Or should we do the lamb? Can y'all see that? Or should we do the piggy? I don't want to do the rooster or the chicken, the two roosters, because we already have that. What do y'all think? Chicken wire and piggy. 
chicken wire and lamb, chicken wire and cow. Let me know, you guys. What are y'all drinking? I'm drinking a dirty Dr. Pepper. with one of my favorite men you know who that is right um cheers everybody so let's close up this paste because i think on this one we're going to use black i'm going to squirt a little bit of water because i don't know when i'll use it next distilled water you guys distilled water don't use tap water on your paste <clears throat> You know what? I think I'm going to use Storm. I'll use Storm while y'all decide which animal, which farm animal we're going to do. No, I have to do the farm animal first, right? We have to do the farm animal first. The little lamb, okay. We'll do the lamb. I've never used it, you guys. So we're gonna do that in black and then we'll do the chicken wire in storm. So Miss Virginia and your friends, if y'all wanna come over Friday, March 5th at six o'clock storm. For some chalk and chalk and I'm gonna put it way to the bottom so it doesn't look like it's floating. This has a lot of screen area, you guys, so make sure you have no bubbles. No bubbles. I turned off my phone because maybe I had too many devices and that was causing my, what do you call it, buffering. I feel extra lint down there, you guys, hold on. Extra lint is not good, and I think it's chalk paste crumbs. So I turned off one of my devices back here, and hopefully we won't have as many problems. But I think everybody was having problems Sunday night. So, okay, we're going to do the lamb in black. Black little lamb. You guys, if you don't see your comment coming through, comment one more time and use an emoji to make sure that Facebook shares it with us. Where did I get back paste from? Hold on. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, here we go, you guys. Here we go. Be generous. And then spread it all over your design. I usually try and work one way, you guys, so I don't get air pockets underneath or my transfer doesn't move. Some people scrub, 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 and then their design doesn't look as crisp. I like to work in one direction. And remove all the excess and then lift top to bottom side to side but not corner to corner because you don't want to stretch your transfer 
Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's gorgeous. I think I'm missing a little bit of her ear right there. But she still has a sweet face, my little lamb. Isn't that pretty? So let's dry it so we can put the, the chicken wire on top. Make sure she doesn't go anywhere. Okay, you guys, because this is not a chocotour surface. Cover your paste, cover your paste. Because this is not a chocotour surface, I am going to wax it with our surface wax so that it doesn't lift anything. I did wax the surface to begin with, but in between, let me get my sponge. In between, um, I like to put our surface wax so to make sure we don't lift any of that chalk paste that we just put down. My sponge. Here's our surface wax. It's awesome. It doesn't smell like the other stuff from our local hardware stores so it's amazing and it lasts a long long time so i'm just going to put a light coating this did pretty good during my freeze <laughs> something happened to it I never get it closed right there. We go. Okay. So now we're going to fuzz our chicken wire. This was a beautiful transfer. Um, it was $39.99. It was an 18 by 24 called Farmhouse. People sell this on the internet now for oodles of money, you guys. Oodles of money. We see they buy it. Especially the stuff that's black grays and creams black gray and white okay you guys so now i don't want to put it all up there maybe there so let's fence her in we're going to use storm for this you guys, I'm sorry. I cannot see any comments. Every now and then a Facebook one. And then every now and then I'm getting a YouTube comment. You guys, I'm uh, broadcasting YouTube, Facebook, and then a group on Facebook. Don't forget to share. Come back and hashtag confetti. Tell me if you're new by doing hashtag pickle. And remember, every time you comment, do a heart, a like, any type of interaction, you get into the drawing for the end of the month. So now let's add some paste here and there. And it's... Put this design on there. Let's 
fence her in. I needed this today, you guys. And I'm so glad we gave out food because all of that food that was in the refrigerator would have been spoiled. There we go. Took all the excess off. Now lift slowly straight up. There you go. She's fenced in. I'm going to put it back on its backer sheet and I'll wash it in a little bit. Isn't that cute, you guys? She's so cute. So now we have chickens. We have the lamb. Now what are we going to do? One more project and then we start embellishing and then we make our carrots. <laughs> I saw that you just signed up for the monthly club couture. Congratulations. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You get billed on the 5th. So you won't get anything till next month. But next month, you will also get 15% off on anything that you purchase. Isn't that awesome? So you can get those other things that are coming back into stock. Okay. So now I have a tiny little block, you guys. A tiny little block. So let's see what we're going to put on that. You know, you can use your transfers, but you don't have to use the whole thing. So would a little piggy face look good there? Okay, everything's going this way. And this one's going this way. All my animals are going this way. So should I put a piggy or the cow? I think I want the cow because we're in Texas and we have more cows than anything else. So I think I'm going to put the cow head. I ask y'all and then I don't let you choose, right? Sometimes you choose. Sometimes you do. I'll cut this corner. So this one, apparently, I've used it before either at a workshop or something because uh, the black, the red, the green, the brown has a lot of pigment in the paste, you guys. So if your transfer gets stained like this, it's okay. You can still use it as long as you get the paste out of the design, out of the silk screen area, your transfer is still good to go. So this one was really sticky, so I'm going to fuzz it once. And I think this one will do gray. Just put a big old cow head on there. So you don't have to use all of it, you guys. And you can mix new with old or new with retired transfers. Can you all see there? Sorry. So don't forget, you guys, March 5th, 6 p.m. at the store. Message me if you're interested. We're having a chalk and sip. The first one of this year. There's enough room. Yes, you have to wear your mask when you're not sipping. Uh, but there's enough room for each person to have um, six feet apart. So we'll be safe. We'll be safe. And on this one, I think I'm going to use elephant gray. Just to use a different gray color. I don't think I want it black. We're trying to um, use all of these in a little vignette. So we need to kind of tie them all together. So this one's going to take like a smidgen of paste, you guys. A smidgen.
remove the excess and we're done oh my goodness you guys I'm gonna put it back on this and I'll clean it in a little bit look at that sweet cow can y'all see him oh there you go hold on there you go it's just a two by two block you guys from dt y'all know where that is right is that what it's called yes that's what it's called from dt our favorite well it's not really my favorite but you can get sometimes some nice things there okay cover your paste you guys and let's put all of this away and let's get embellishing i think that's it don't forget to do hashtag confetti after you share so you can win one of these chalk paste okay guys so here are our three projects imagine these on a little shelf somewhere so cute y'all can't see the whole thing it's gonna be on a shelf so now let's embellish this one real quick you guys it's gonna be simple but cute I have this awesome cute ribbon that has tiny little pom-poms on the side. You see that? So I do have to, I can't glue anything because I am going to, um, what do you call it? Seal it. Let me turn it around so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to seal it. So we'll just tie it where I can slip it off and slip it back on. Well, we got to decorate our chickens here. Okay, so I'm going to use this black and white check ribbon that has little pom-poms on the edge. Really, really cute. And then let me tie that on there. And we're going to make one of those hot mess bows, you guys. So what I do to start it off with is I put it as tight as I can and make a square knot there. Left over right and then right over left and it makes a square knot as tight as we can go. Okay. take a little sip are y'all sharing y'all better be <laughs> so let me move this aside a little bit and we're gonna get some ribbon here's some gray i just like to get a variety you guys And for this one, I think we'll use about five inch. What else? A little check. You've seen me do these little bows before. I know a lot of, a lot of y'all have said, oh, don't do those other bows. I can't make them. Even with the bow maker. So we're gonna work with this, you guys. Some grow green ribbon. Oh. <clears throat> 
The messy bow is really cute. It's in style right now, and everybody can make this one. I think everybody can. You can use wired ribbon. You can use grow grain ribbon. So I'm using a sparkly gray and a sparkly black because we got to get the glam in there. Hi, how are you, Tina? How is YouTube world? I'm glad you caught the live. Thank you. Thank you for hashtag confetti. Look, you guys, and when I run out, it looks like, look, I'm almost at the end of the ribbon thing. Here, I take it off, throw that away, and then you know I have this little book that has extra ribbon in here. And it has just extra stuff. And we'll use it some other point in time. Let's throw some burlap in there too. Not burlap. What do you call it? What do you call this? Oh, twine. Just to make it cute and funky. See how it looks. Okay, guys. So then... Remember, the easiest way to do this is do an X, um, alternating your colors or your selection of ribbon here. You can change your mind and rearrange it the way you want. Crisscross, crisscross. Put those two pieces up on top. Try and get it to the middle and then crunch it all up. Crunch it, crunch it, pinch it in between your fingers. You can use a little, um, what do you call it, chenille wire thing or one of these. But look at, I ran out of my black and white and I don't want to use that. What do you call those? Quick ties cable tie so you just put it here in the middle and you just tie it as tight as you can do a square knot so it doesn't go anywhere and then you just trim This one I might keep for a tiny little bow, but the other stuff I'll throw away. You can leave them as long or as short as you want. There we go. And let's move it a little bit, maybe right there. So there's the embellishment on that one. Isn't that not cute? Okay, on this one, I think we can put a tiny little bow up on top. So I'm going to show you how to do that other little bow I make, the sweet little double loop bow. So I get the tail and I lie it over my other two with the ring finger and the pinky. I open these two fingers up and then you're going to do a figure eight. One, two, three, four times. Hold it right there so you can cut it. 
So this one that's supposed to do the number eight, you finish the last loop, bring it through in between both fingers, push it down and you're gonna get it from this side. And then you're gonna put it through that last loop you pushed through. And then you pull and that's going to lock your bow into place, okay? I know black is probably hard to see, but you've seen me do these little bows many times. So there's like two little loops on. And I have my hot glue gun on. Hope y'all have yours on and you have your fabric on because soon we'll be doing carrots. So we're gonna glue this up on top. Not to yourself. And then let's, there we go. Isn't that not cute? Cute! Okay, and then I think it's, I think this one is okay. So this is how we'll display them. We'll put this. Of course, they'll be at the counter and they'll be at different levels on a shelf or whatever, but they'll be at different levels. So I think I'll put like the little cow further up somewhere. And then this one also a little bit further up. So, I mean, not everything's going to be laying flat, but it's going to be on the shelf like this. Okay. Kind of get my drift. Aren't they cute, you guys? Adorable. So, yes, this is available for sale. I'll have it at the store. If anybody is interested, let me know. Okay, put those back. And where do I put this? Okay. So cute, you guys, my little cow. With a little bow, look at that. 